Let's take a look at Mel Kiper Jr.'s latest mock draft. Welcome back to One Bar and Lepagus Show. I am Lepagus, and Mel Kiper Jr. has released his latest NFL mock draft. We're going to see who he has the Vikings taking at pick 23. Before we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the vids, hit up Lift Bridge Brewing Company, refresh and quench your thirst with a delicious, delicious Lift Bridge brew, and also hit up That's Badass Wood Art to get some fantastic wood art. Anything you basically want, pop culture, Vikings, a picture of your mom, uh, Luis can make anything. All right, so let's talk Mel Kiper Jr.'s latest mock draft. And this one, I got to be honest, this is I don't think this is his best work. And at time in this mock draft, it's a little bit weird. Why do a mock? Why release a mock the Tuesday before the combine starts when all these guys should be moving up and down the board? A little bit uh, curious uh, when this mock is released. But anyway, Vikings at pick 23. He's got us going with cornerback Deontay Banks from Maryland. Let's just say Zay Flowers was off the board. Jordan Anderson was off the board. Jackson Smith and Jigbo was off the board. Joey Porter Jr. was off the board, uh, as was the other corners. Uh, the, uh, Devin, Devin Witherspoon, I believe, was gone, and so was Christian Gonzalez. So uh, he's got us going with Don, uh, Deontay Banks from Maryland. Uh, that's what he says. New mock draft, same position the Vikings should target. New defensive coordinator Brian Flores wants to be aggressive, but he needs the cornerbacks to do that, even if free agent Patrick Peterson returns. Six foot two Banks is coming off a breakout season in which he locked down opposing wideouts, often in man to man coverage, and had, had eight pass breakups and a pick. His tape is impressive, and I've heard he's going to run in the low four three second range in the 40 yard dash at the combine. That's elite first size. Andrew Booth Jr., a second round pick last year, should be in the mix for more snaps, but Banks has number one corner potential. Uh, yeah, you know, one bar brought up the biggest concern about Banks last week in the live. It's just this guy's got, he missed the entire 2021 season with an injury and can the vikings really roll the dice on a guy with an injury history again after having lewis seen and missed his entire rookie season with an injury andrew booth jr not being able to stay on the field i don't know it's an interesting conundrum to be in uh so deontay banks you like the size you like how he played last year he had one really good season at maryland that was it uh played sparingly before that and then he had that injury uh his junior year so not my favorite pick. Uh, I gotta be honest. I don't like this pick because you gotta consider who is still on the board, who he didn't even have going. He's got four tight ends going in the first round. Four tight ends. I, that's not gonna happen. Uh, Brian Brissett didn't go in round one. Trenton Simpson didn't go in round one. Uh, again, it's it's a mock draft. You don't want to be overly critical because it's the NFL draft. Anything can happen. But this one just seems a little bit out there. He has Quentin Johnston, the wide receiver from TCU, going twenty five to the Giants. I mean, shit, the Vikings could have took him. Six foot four, tremendous after the catch. That would have been amazing. Uh, I'd much rather have Quentin Johnston uh, in this situation, but he's got these tight ends who I don't think are going to be first-round material. Uh, the one guy I thought was interesting, I've seen him in a first-round mock, and I have actually been looking at him more, is this uh, Kalijah Kansi guy from Pittsburgh. Uh, very, very impressive. Um, I was watching some of his highlights, so he's definitely a guy who's now on my radar. Brian Branch. He didn't even have Brian freaking Branch in the first round. Uh, one of my favorite players who's potentially a first rounder. I don't understand that at all. What that guy does, uh, the ground he can cover, the versatility there. Give us Brian Branch over Deontay Banks. I'm, I, I get it. He's a safety that would not look great after going Lewis scene last year, but he can put him at corner. Uh, so Brian Branch, it's the other one that's complete head scratching uh, that did not make it in this mock draft. So uh, Mel Kuyper Jr., four tight ends, Vikings Deontay Banks. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments. Are you excited with Don Deontay Banks? Would that get your purple parts tingling, or would it make your purple parts shrivel up? Uh, let me know. And uh, until then, keep your skull in your hole.